Mackinac, here we come. Yeah. It is breathtaking. This is the spirit and the majesty of today's 60th annual Mackinac Island race. Since 1925, those who are driven by the passion of competition and who are thrilled with the uncertainty of having fate and the wind as their captains have accepted the Bayview Yacht Club's challenge to sail 60 hours straight, 259 nautical miles from Port Huron to Mackinac Island. This year, 300 yachts from as far away as Ireland and more than 2,500 crew members have joined in this beautiful quest for glory. It's an amazing experience to be 25 miles from land in the middle of 300 boats and not see another soul or light except the uh, people on your boat. Two, three o'clock in the morning watching the Aurora Borealis is a very impressive experience and it uh, reduces you in your own importance. Tens of thousands of people are drawn to Port Huron to see the 30 to 78 foot boats compete. The spectator boats gather at the starting line, and the onlookers are left excited and sometimes a little bit envious. If I could afford it, I'd only do it right away. It's just gorgeous out there. We've been out there days when it wasn't as pretty as this, and it's still spectacular. They all want to be first. Sometimes they come within a foot or two foot of each other, and they yell at each other. And It's, it's just, I think, the beauty and the, and the silence, and uh, know that they're in for quite a couple of days of real hard racing. It's not always smooth sailing. There are storms, accidents, equipment failures that can force you out of the race. Somehow, that only inspires the most driven sailors to return to the challenge every year, with the belief that indeed, the canvas can do miracles. It's um, a lot of fun, it's a test, and it's a way to be able to tell stories, <laughs> most of all. <laughs> There are hundreds of thousands of dollars, a lot of pain, a lot of labor that's poured into the Great Mackinac Race. And at the very end of sailing day and night for two and a half days, there is no purse. There's only a tiny little prize of a flag that says you won the 1984 Mackinac. And of course, there's the prestige. Well, it's not necessarily the flag. It's the idea of doing something and accomplishing it. It's climbing over the mountain, isn't it? Dana Eubanks, Channel 7 Action News, reporting.